Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we would like to talk about the transfer of the kinetic energy that happens between the two bodies and the kinetic energy retained by any one body. In the case of one dimensional, what I mean by one dimensional is before and after the collision, both the bodies are restricted to move in only one dimension. Collision is elastic, that means both momentum and kinetic energy is conserved. For this, we need to know the velocities of the bodies after one dimensional elastic collision. I have derived the derivations already, but let us write the equations. If you don't know these derivations, please go through the derivations. We are assuming to do to, by default for a simplicity's sake, the second body is in the state of rest before the collision. So V1 is M1 minus M2 by M1 plus M2 of U1 plus 2M2 by M1 plus M2 of U2. Assuming like initially the second body is in the state of rest, the second term becomes automatically zero. Then the last of the first body is Second body velocity is zero, therefore the second term becomes automatically zero. So I can say initial kinetic energy of first body that is before the collision is half m1 u1 square and Final kinetic energy of the first body after the collision will be automatically half m1. Velocity is different now, therefore half m1 m1 v1 square. But we know we have already derived an equation for V1. I can substitute that value. Therefore, kinetic energy final is half M1 in the place of V1 M1 minus M2 by M1 plus M2 of U1 whole square. Simplifying this further, half M1 u1 square of m1 minus m2 by m1 plus m2 whole square. This is the final kinetic energy r kinetic energy final as half m is m1 u1 square is nothing but equal to kinetic energy initial m1 minus m2 by M1 plus M2 whole square. Other way, kinetic energy final by kinetic energy initial or K retained by the body. This body has still had some of its energy with itself. Remaining energy it has given to the other body. How much it is still having with itself is M1 minus M2 by m1 plus m2 whole square. This is the kinetic energy retained by the body after one dimensional elastic collision where the second body is initially in the state of rest. Now let us also talk about what is the kinetic energy transferred to the other body. Other body is initially in the state of rest. So for the second body Kinetic energy initially is half m2 u2 square, but u2 is 0, therefore kinetic energy is also 0. But this body, this body because of uh, 
collision has got some velocity. You know the equation for that velocity. I have derived this equation. If you don't know, please go to the video lesson respectively. M2 minus M1 by M1 plus M2 of U2 plus 2M1 by M1 plus M2 of U1. But U2 is 0, therefore this term becomes 0. So final velocity of the second body after the collision is 2m1 by m1 plus m2 of u1. Therefore, k final of second body as half m2 v2 square. That is v2 is 2m1 u1 by whole square that's nothing but equal to half m2 4 m1 square u1 square by m1 plus m2 whole square so Simplifying this equation will give you something like half m1 u1 square. Whatever is remaining is 4. Here on m1 is remaining. Here on m2 is remaining. By m1 plus m2 whole square. So kinetic energy final of the second body by kinetic energy initial of the first body is 4 m1 m2 by m1 plus m2 whole square. This is actually kinetic energy transferred to the second body which is not actually there for the second body before the collision, it is actually transferred from the first body itself. Therefore, these two equations are going to help us to understand how much kinetic energy is transferred and how much kinetic energy is retained after the collision. Thank you for watching. Keep coming back for more and more video lessons. Thank you.